Well, here at Joliet West High School, we thought we'd do today is give you an idea, because this is probably where you're going to be coming here in Blow County for the next several months to get your vaccine, of what the whole process is like. A lot of people are like, I'm not sure what to do, what's it going to be like, is it going to be difficult? My whole idea today is to show you what the Joliet Fire Department is doing, what Joliet West High School is doing, and what you will eventually be doing when you come here for your COVID-19 vaccination. So as you can see, it's a simple process. People walk in and they come right here and a member of the Joliet Fire Department takes their name, gives them the proper information, checks the paperwork, and makes sure that they have an appointment for today. All right, so what you saw right there is you walk in, you get your temperature taken on the wrist to make sure that you're okay to come in and get your vaccination. All right, so this is the registration table. As you see, you just walk up, hand them the registration card, and they ask you a couple of questions, and you're good to go. So they get an opening, and a sign comes up in the back, and they walk back and sit down and start the process. All right, this is Danielle from Joliet, and she is qualified today to come today. She's a vet vet, works for a veterinarian, so we're going to watch the process now with her getting vaccinated. How was it? Did it hurt? No, not at all. Piece of cake, right? Yeah. All right. Good. All right. So once you get vaccinated, you can't just hop in the car and go home. You've got to come here and chill out for 15 minutes or so to make sure that you did not have any type of reaction to the vaccination. All right. So this is the last stop on your journey. This is where you check out. You come up here after 15 minutes. They ask you if you feel okay, if you have any symptoms, any reaction at all. If you do, then you wait for 15 more minutes. If you don't, then it's hop in the car and try to stay warm and head on home. I'm here with the fire chief of the city of Joliet, Craig Glasky. And Craig, this is amazing, a well-oiled machine. This is so efficient. Scott, this is truly a byproduct of everyone in the community coming together. A partnership between District 204, all of our um, friends and, and people that have volunteered their time, our own members from the Joliet Fire Department on their days off, nurses from Plainfield today. Everyone has come together in order to make this happen. Without them, this would have never gotten off the ground, and we appreciate everything everyone's done. Well, the gentleman for the Joliet Fire Department that has been handling COVID since the start is Deputy Chief Jeff Carey. And Jeff, it, it's hard to believe that a month ago this didn't exist, and here it is just a few weeks later, run as well as anything I can imagine in the country. Yes, we, uh, we started probably a month before this to get everything organized, and we got the ball rolling, but it truly just all the organizations that the Chief just mentioned, it took all of them to get this going. They're, even with the idea, we couldn't have it without all of our volunteers. And it runs so well, so officially it's painless for people other than the shop maybe, but it is painless and it's simple. It is it is a system that is truly impressive. Yeah, yeah we want to keep it as simple as possible, especially when we get to the older population, so make it as painless as you say as possible for them to come in and get the shot. I know a lot of you are worried about having to come here and having to get the shot, but it truly is thanks to the Joliet Fire Department and all of their partners, including Joliet West High School and District 204. It is a very simple, easy experience.